hello everyone good evening good morning good day depending on when this message is meeting you my name is beauty Akwai, and you're welcome to my youtube channel i know it's been a while right but i got my hands on so many things and you know it's almost impossible to keep up but i'll try okay um so in this video i'm going to be talking about mistakes mature singles make now i've even believing in god for marital settlement and it looks like it's not coming um, one thing i want you to understand is that it's a personal belief i have and i got this revelation from the word of god that there's a spouse for you you know before eve came there was a man and adam sorry yeah and adam was busy doing his business and God saw his need for his spouse and provided one. So most times when you've prayed, prayed and believed God for a spouse and they are not forthcoming, you need to check that you are not making some mistakes on your path. Okay. So while you wait, what are the things you need to start doing correctly so that the right person would find you um, in a wholesome state? So mistakes mature singles make. Before I go right into this video, I want you to subscribe to this channel because you're going to learn a lot of wholesome things about marriage, relationship, and about um, about life, spirituality. So you're welcome. Um, let's go right into it. So don't forget to leave a comment or a thumbs up after this. You're welcome back. All right, let's jump right into it. The first mistake mature singles make is thinking something is wrong with them. Uh, I want you to understand that it's not in every situation or occasion that something is wrong with you. A lot of you have prayed, a lot of you have fasted, a lot of you have um, you've sown seed, you've worked on yourself, and you know you're beginning to feel like something is wrong with you. Yeah, um, it's not in every case, and God is not wicked that He look at you like that. He knows your need for a life partner and you will not make provision for it. The word of God says, I would supply all your needs according to my riches in glory. So God is rich in husbands, he's rich in wife, he's rich in everything you can imagine. And he can make supply for every kind of need you want or you have. So you should know that, stop thinking that nothing is wrong, something is wrong with you, especially if you have played your part in prayers, in the place of preparation, in the place of knowledge, and in the place of working on yourself, you don't have to think anything is wrong with you. So because people begin to think something is wrong with them and they begin to seek for solutions where they are not supposed to seek solutions from. So I would advise that if you have done everything, stay in faith and wait for God to do what he can do for you. So thinking something is wrong with you um, is a mistake. Okay, it's a mistake. Um, and this doesn't mean that if there are things you need to work on now, you shouldn't work on. If you have worked on those things, just trust and believe God for, for, for answers. Mistake number two that mature singles make is idolizing marriage. And a lot of you do, do this. Stop thinking that the most happiest people in the world are married people i wrote a lot down here okay or people in relationship a lot of you have no idea some single people are even more happy than those in marriage they are happier in real life so don't begin to feel like okay the only thing that can make me happy in this life is marriage so idolizing marriage and thinking that the happiest people in this world are married people is a mistake on your part okay seeing happy couples online may make you feel um like something is wrong with you or you're getting some things wrong or it may make you feel like ah i must be the most miserable people happy couples show you what they want to see and this doesn't mean that there are no real life happy couples out there yes there are many but it doesn't mean that the happiest people are life are married people so one thing you must understand is that you will not die if you are single you don't have to be miserable if you are single okay so as a man or a woman love um as a man or a woman most of us love the fantasy of marriage but can't handle the reality of what it is 
okay so be more concerned about the reality of marriage not the fantasy not the beautiful pictures not the beautiful gown not the all loved up um videos you see on tiktok of couples playing and running about okay so don't think um don't idolize marriage okay it, sometimes it can wake up the desperation in you and make you settle for what is lesser than god's plan for your life okay the third mistake mature singles make is putting their lives on hold um so many people pause everything okay they pause every single thing because they believe their life partner has not come and i don't know why they think that the person is coming with a miracle to help them fix every other thing they feel okay i'm not going to make the money i'm not going to make i'm not going to do business i'm not going to start up a career because if i go too far nobody will marry me i've always said that people who recognize your potential it doesn't matter the level they meet you in life they are going to be very comfortable with you it doesn't matter if you are making all the money so you don't have to put your life on hold because a husband is not coming or a wife is not coming live your life enjoy your life go to places because you want to not because men are there there are people that just want to go to attend events attend their friends wedding because they, they are thinking that a husband may be there for them yes in some occasions you may meet a man there but not in every occasion so putting your life on hold is a no-no okay um you want your husband or your wife to meet you when you are on a journey you can't put everything on hold i've always told people if one side is not working if marriage is not working let your career be working let your business business be working let your work with god be on be on be be on points you know everything must not be on hold because no husband or because no wife the next um mistake that mature singles make mistake number four is not being happy alone <laughs> i've always told people your happiness is not in the hands of any man or in the hands of any woman get to know yourself it's a very good time to get to know yourself get to love yourself get to discover the things that will make you happy it's a time to um, learn to accept who you are okay you don't have to feel like you're going to be happy only when there's somebody if you are not um, happy alone you won't be happy as a married person happiness is something that should be cultivated by you you shouldn't people people won't make you happy they really do and even if they do they won't always be around to make you happy even when you end up getting married your spouse will not always make you happy so you should be able to make yourself happy are you happy alone do you enjoy your own company do you laugh at your own jokes you know not being happy alone is one mistake so look for things that will make you happy enjoy yourself life is not that difficult another mistake that mature singles make is accepting situationship what we call situationship or being a side chick relationship is different from situationship situationship are, are situations or conditions where you find yourself let me just manage this thing it is not god's will for you you are in a relationship you don't know what to call it if it's a relationship or you are fine you found yourself in a situation so you are worth more than being a number two you are much much more than being another option don't bring yourself to a level of being second number two since this man is not coming and eh, let me just accept to be a second wife since this person is not coming let me just be a side chick that's not god's plan for you the one god has for you is going to come so you don't have to be an option in somebody's life you can be the attention you can be the main person not just another option they have so one of the mistakes people make is accepting the situationship and most times this one happen out of desperation because this this particular person feels like every other person has has just um gotten married and it's just me so they just say anyone that comes anyone is not the right one when you rush in you will rush out okay number six 
Another mistake mature singles make is not having any standard. Not having any standard, okay? Uh, um, be you, um, sorry, because you think that time is against you, you feel like, okay, let me just drop my standard. I've seen people who settled for unbelievers because they feel time is against them. I've seen people who went, it's okay. Okay, before I explain it, it's okay to have a standard, right? Very okay. Especially if they are reasonable standard, standard you too can live up to because some people set up on realistic standard. Make sure your standards are realistic and a godly standards okay um um so sometimes some people think that lowering their standard will make them marry but there are some people that have lowered their standard and they got what i call second hand they didn't get the best so it's better to have a standard it doesn't matter how long it will take you don't compromise on your standard because i've always told people that the time you spend married will be longer than the time you spend as a single person. So um, make sure that you have your standard intact. Numbers, um, number seven is expecting a perfect person or a finished product. <laughs> now I'm going to sit on this and I'm going to try to explain it in a way that you will understand. Um, no one is going to be a complete package. Okay, um, if there's no abuse and the fundamentals are okay, be open to work on the rest. I don't want you to get this wrong. I'm not saying settle for less. I'm not saying accept toxicity. The one God has for you is going to come as a raw material. And there are some things you people are going to work on. Sometimes you make the mistake of looking for perfection. And it can delay you on your journey of looking or waiting for a spouse. So you need to check that you are not being so focused on getting a finished product. A lot of us have evolved over the years. We've learned a lot from our partner. We've learned to grow. You know, we've, we've, we've just evolved. Some people were bad at communicating at first, but they got better because they had access to the right knowledge. So make sure that some people did, were not even well schooled. They may not be up to your standard educate in terms of education. And you are saying, okay, um, I have masters and this guy just has a degree. My sister, it's not about the qualification. Do you people have common grounds? There are some people that don't have masters. They just have degree. When you hear them talk, you know, no, this person, the both of us, we have a common ground. So check the common ground. It shouldn't be, it, it, it mustn't necessarily be um, um, a perfect person, okay? Just look for the fundamentals, the basic things, God-fearing, polite. They know how to treat somebody well. Um, they're not toxic. They're not abusive. Every other thing, you can work on it. Number eight is not being prepared. That's another mistake mature singles make. Don't wait to be in a relationship to change. You have every opportunity to change now. Don't wait until you are married before you work on that anger. Don't wait until you are married before you work on, on those things that you know will be a hindrance to the success of the kind of marriage you are believing God for. So if there's anything you need to work on, change. How prepared are you for this marriage you are believing God for? How prepared are you physically? How prepared are you um, spiritually? How prepared are you mentally? So how prepared are you financially too? Um, so don't wait. Not pre being prepared is another mistake mature singles make. Finally, Another mistake that mature singles make is not believing they will find the person they want. Oh God, the one you want is out there. Everybody has a picture of the kind of person they want. And I'm speaking from a realistic point of view. 
you have a picture of the kind of person you want not believing that this particular person will not come is a mistake god has a man for you god has a woman for you and she's somewhere and and i trust god to be an orchestrator he would always orchestrate your path to meet the perfect person for you you know how you go to the market to shop for a particular outfit and you're looking for something that will match it do you know that it may not be in that shop that you bought the first outfit from but when you go to other shops to look for that particular outfit that will complement that one that you got from the other shop you discover that you will still find what you are looking for so what you are looking for is out there so believing it's not out there is a mistake um another mistake mature singles make is looking like their problem my sister i'm sorry i'm going to speak pigeon when i single you single you know keep person i know barely you single looking like your problem looking miserable like your life has ended because a spouse has not come you keep person you did not kill nobody so don't let anybody or you don't have to look like what you are going through i know there are times where you'll be worried i know there are times where you have your downtime but my sister don't allow people pressure you or don't pressure yourself don't allow it look good smell good go out smiling go out not looking like your problem do you know why it's important the person that will marry you does not want to see a miserable person nobody admires misery so take care of yourself look good and you know trust god and another mistake people make when they are they are mature singles make is not praying for the spouse they, are, they, are, they, 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 they can easily say i'm tired of prayers no you have to pray until what you want comes ask god for it believe god for it pray for it be in the word stay in the word and god is going to surprise you i hope this has been a blessing to you don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you again soon bye